Uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Omugoya Moses. Uh, I would like to take you to my AI projects and uh, today I would like you to expect that I'm going to I want to traverse you through the agents environment of my AI project and the algorithms I'm going to use and plus the accountability only for stuff. So right away let's go through uh, for actually for those who doesn't who don't know who don't know my project it's a rhythm passing project uh, this project is going to help us venture and its motive is to read through the online applications for the candidates and actually at least the most eligible ones the ones in charge will do the final decision he doesn't really do the decision but he should list the eligible ones and save signs for other work to be done maybe in an organization whatever whoever the recruiter is saves them time and enables them to do the other work because at the end of the day you may receive around like a thousand applications but this can be a helper mm. wow so this is the gist we have in ai we usually have the environment and the agents these work together Usually, you can't consider an agent when you don't know which environment they can act in. Get so usually you usually have to know the environment and the agents. Those are the first tips you have to know: which agents are you going to use, and which environment can they be in. So simply, an agent is something. An agent can be a person, a robot, usually. Because for them, they are use their 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 what <coughs> they are supposed to be there to give back to the environment because they they receive and give back to the environment and an agent is simply something an agent has a react they have sensors react they have an effectors also they have they have sensors and effectors let me say like that so the sensors help the agents to receive or to perceive to to acquire from the environment then what the agents do they process that information whatever it is information and uh, give back using the effectors and as i've said there are very many there are, there are some examples of agents they can be human they can be robots or it can be a software but you, as you can see in my in my what in my in my project i can't use humans of course that's what what i'm avoiding i can't use humans i don't want to use humans i want i don't want to use robots they can be robots but again no i don't want to use robots i'm going to use a software program and that's going to be my agent my agent is a software program then there's a, th that is an example of the agent but its type there are very many types of agents it can be simple reflex agent model based agent learning agent how is it going to act how is my software going to be is it going to be a simple reflex it's going to be model based it's going to be a learning agent so there are, there are around five, I should list it three, but my major interest in it is going, I want it to be a learning agent. It has to continue learning new stuff by its own, it has to adapt by its own, even in the process of, of testing it. It has, it has to keep track, of course learning combines reflex, model based and uh <coughs> and what and uh goal based agent so it's 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 quite good that learning a la making a learning agent for this kind of project like reason passing for the fact that for the fact that very many kinds of application different formats so my model has to be and the formats keep on changing so my model has to be a learning agent 
in a sense that even if the format whatever changes of the application CVs resumes yeah because very many people use different different formats for impression but for this case there will be no impression to showcase so my what I have to do is make my agent be a learning agent it has to be learning continuously learning new stuff through the process so that it can adapt to environment and, that, and that's why so that's why I chose that so in a AI also an environment so if it's a learning mm, basically an environment is the, is the surrounding of the agent as I've said before it is it is where the agent be and for that for the fact that in this case I, as you can see all you've already thought of already my environment is going to be this application this is going to be my application and if I write my software which is going to be my agent it can't work without the application which is the environment so they usually work together so they are what they call single environment uh, fully observed environment deterministic environment mine, mine is going to be a single agent environment because I don't have to write very many software for for that environment for the for the application to be read uh, I can write one software and it will be read so that environment doesn't require very many agents and the fully observed environment so a fully observed the characteristic of my environment is also fully observed that every information the inside information I get to shortlist an applicant must be inside the environment must be inside that application so I say that whatever someone puts in the in their application is the information is enough it must be enough for them to acquire the job if not they won't be shortlisted so there is no I can't relate there is no there is no doing what there is no partial I can't I can't just my model will not just imagine my software won't just imagine that I will use it and this to shortlist this this person you know I would like it to to use the information which is there and be just enough for it to make a decision and there is also what they call the deterministic the deterministic environment the environment that determines that maybe for the fact that I may use keywords in keywords in that application it's going to be keyword based or phrase based uh, when someone uses a particular keyword it should it should determine other keywords should it should know my algorithm should know that there are other keywords maybe it needs to continue searching for those keywords and um, finally I would like to take you through the description of my data set so that you understand best what I was talking about in the environment before my data my data set is going to be made up of keywords it's going to be keyword based data set sorry it's going to be keyword keyword based phrases and also text the documents for screening so it is those keywords for particular kind of jobs should someone should have for them to be shortlisted for the for the um, for the job they want and it's going to be categorized into training and the uh, testing data set the data set is data set but you can categorize it with between testing and uh, testing and training of course of course the training data set is going to be used to train but then the testing data set the only difference is that testing data the data set used for testing it should not be again the 
that I said for training it. Testing is to evaluate what the intelligence of your of your model you're creating. So it should be new data you get to make that testing data sets. So this time you're going to feed the the, the algorithm or your agent with information that that it has never seen before so it should be unique from what you've been testing it with yeah so basically that's it and uh, finally the accountability oh sorry such algorithms yeah uh, there are these such algorithms the uh, algorithms uh, is the way an agent is going to gather the information they need using their sensors in order to respond to particular environment using their effectors and there are two types you have the informed search and uh, an in, informed search algorithms the, so the informed search algorithms they are basically three we have the d the d first we have the breed it first and uh, uniform cost but the uniform cost combines the two and and you find that it's way more better though it is uninformed it's way more better than predict first and depth first uh, this algorithm uses the lowest cumulative cost to find the path as it's called the uniform cost it usually it already finds um, it uses the it uses the shortest path it finds the shortest path and uh, in the what? In the uh, in the patterns to reach to the goal. If there are keywords, uh, it should not very fast. So that this is not a this is not a keyword. So it greater jumps from keyword to keyword automatically. And um, such algorithm, I have the informed such algorithms, and these ones based on the experience. Um, you may say maybe they are deterministic maybe they refer yeah, they use experience and this is an asterisk such algorithm this is a simple and efficient such algorithm that can be used to find the optimal path between the nodes on the graph and it uses the heuristic and the uniform cost algorithm to find the shortest and the optimal path so, but these two, since it uses experience and the uniform cost, uh, remember <coughs> these two must 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 work together to give you an an asterisk search algorithm, whereby um, it's going to be very fast. And for the fact, this this is mostly used in Google Maps. Yeah, Google Maps, GPSA, they are, they are the ones which use such asterisk search algorithms. But finally, I would like to take you through the accountability. Accountability implies implies that whatever you develop, whatever your model is going to do, you're accountable for it. Yeah, so it should be well trained and let it do what it's supposed to do, not less, not more. And it shouldn't violate any any rule. Like it should be in a range. That's why usually, usually maybe let me take for example when someone invents anything, anything they have to write the prescription like how it should be used, such that they are not accountable for the bad use of it. Yeah, they usually prescribe. It should use their inventors prescribed the guidelines of how their their inventions should be used to avoid misuse and being accountable whatever but it can do so in this way the model if it's ready to read the resumes or CVs let it read the resumes and CVs not 
other stuff. Let it not get people's names. Let it not do less. Don't let it do more. Otherwise, you may get sued. You know, it's kind of tricky. So here I said, it implies of an ethical moral that guides to the people's to the people's or organization's actions or conduct and allow them to explain the decision and action that's for taking. Algorithm should only do a required task, not more, not less, otherwise it should be answerable. Insultations must be avoided. Let, it, let your model not insult people, let it not kill people. And the guidelines of the implementation should be provided to avoid being misunderstood. Yeah, basically that's it. Thank you for keeping up with me. Yeah, have a nice time.